You know what pisses me off? Stank breath. Also known as poo breath. I'm a person who's very self-conscious about smells. I realize I'm a little more hyper aware than other people, but I will never understand when people have bad breath and continue to talk into my face. Recently I've noticed a lot more that when people have bad breath, they want to share it with me. And they always want to get really close and just have an intimate conversation with you. That is not the time to have an intimate conversation. That is the time to go brush your teeth. Listen, I know you could have great hygiene. You could brush in the morning, you could brush in the middle of the day, and you could brush in the evening and still get bad breath. But that's what breath mints are for. That's what, you know, liquid and food is for. You can cover it up. But when you have bad breath, I don't, you could taste it. You can taste that your breath is bad. It doesn't taste delicious. It tastes terrible. It tastes like poo and it stinks like poo. And you can't say, I don't notice. It's in your mouth, it's on your taste buds. So I don't get why people that have that happen don't want to fix it. It's like if you had BO and you smell your BO and you're like, I'm not gonna put on deodorant, I'm gonna stick my armpit in everyone's face. That's not how the world works. And this is the worst part. It's a known thing that if someone's breath stinks, you offer them a mint. And when someone offers you a mint, never refuse it because it could be their polite way of saying, your breath stank, here's a thing to make it better. But I don't get when people offer a mint to someone else and they don't take it. It's like, if someone offers you a piece of gum, they're not doing it out of the kindness of their heart because no one on earth wants to share their gum. When people want to chew their own gum, it's not like they take it out and like, hey everybody, I have gum, you want a piece? It's like, if you've got gum, you're slyly taking it out of your bag or your pocket and unwrapping it and you stick it in your mouth like, because you don't want people to ask for a piece of your gum because that's the most annoying thing in the world because if one person asks for a piece, everyone around you asks for a piece because no one likes to have stink breath. So when someone offers you a piece of gum and you don't take it, I'm letting you know you, your breath probably stinks a lot. So please, if you have stink breath, brush your teeth, eat mints and gum, go to the dentist, and stop trying to whisper into people's nostrils. Stop trying to breathe on everyone because it's disgusting. You're making the world smell gross. You know what, sometimes, I personally don't do this, but you gotta skip a teeth brushing somehow. I don't know why. But you know what, there are ways to cover up the stink. Like, just a swig of mouthwash, a mint, a piece of gum, just food, a very strong food. Eat those, and then you won't have a big problem because I, there's not a soul on earth that's like, when your breath stinks, it really turns me on. It's disgusting. People appreciate good breath. They don't appreciate bad breath. And I know I've gone on a rant before about stinky people, and I've, I've mentioned bad breath before, but that, like, it just deserves its own topic because it's ridiculous that people go around stinking this much and then wanting to put it in my nostrils. And if someone's doing this, as you're talking to them, that means they're trying to get away from your air. You, they don't want to be breathing the same air as you. So if they're just... Take a social hint. Your breath stinks. All right, comment below. Tell me if you have stank breath, do you care? I think there's just like a group of people that don't care that their breath stinks. I care. I care that you don't care and it, it, it concerns me. Also comment below, tell me what pisses you off. It could be our topic in the next Tuesday video. Also subscribe to see Rachel's Room every Thursday and random videos every Tuesday. And remember guys, stay awesome possum. But if you're asking like, oh my boyfriend's cheating on me, do you think he can change? Girl, get out of that relationship.